Welcome back to Feed the Beast Monster, I'm CC Survivor and today we're going to be moving over to the new base and continuing to build it but first I'm going to be messing around with Miscraft so I can get an easy way to get there and back but before we do that I'm going to show you this this is my auto experience farm basically these autonomous activators are right clicking with a stick for some reason if you don't click with a don't have an item there It'll use first slot and then when it right clicks with the berries, it'll drop the experience on the floor. Kind of a bit awkward, I know. And basically I've got these pulling out and blacklisted sticks. So every time a berry grows on here, right click and they go into this chest that I've got 30 now. So next of all, we're going to get into Miscraft and then over to, to the new base. So Miscraft, not many items to it, but it's a very powerful mod. And what we want to be creating is an ink mixer, a book binder, and a writing desk. So we need some wood, some feathers, and some ink sacks, paper, and leather. So I'll take some, well, actually, leave the tent, take that, take that. I think I need one of them, and I need a bunch of wood. Two stacks will do, I think. So, ink mixer. Oh, five stone. Three. Four, five, that'll do nicely. And let's go with the. Oh, do we need glass bottles as well? Yes, we do. Um, do I have any glass? I think I have some in. Oh, miss. I can't remember my sorting system now. Do I have a blocks chest? I can't remember. Yeah, but. Glass. Um. Like 22 is divisible by 3. No, it's not. Oh, I'm trying to do maths though and can't for some reason. Horrible at mental maths. That's it. I only need to draw one. We need a load of bottles. So we'll make the ink mixer, like so. The writing desk, like so. And the book binder. Oh, free iron. Uh, let's go over to my ingots chest. Cheers, you. And free iron. Plenty of iron for me there. Oh, oh, pardon me. Hiccup. Plenty of iron for me there. So we'll go like so. And we'll go like so. And a book binder. So now that we have this, I think. Hmm, where should I put it? Here? Yeah, I'll stick it here. Space to put it. And I don't want it too far away from here. So we'll stick you there. I don't think that's how that's supposed to look on the top. Just a guess though. So, what we need to make is two interlinking books. Now, what you need is to create a link in unlinked link books, which requires a link page, which requires paper, which requires sugarcane. Now, do I have some sugarcane? Yes. Uh, two of you. Let's make a bunch of paper. Should be more than enough. Now we put some paper in that slot. For you, we'll need some ink sacks. Now, is it two to a bottle? I think. No, is it one? What's the recipe? Oh, ink sacks have to go on the top. Oh, bottle of water. Ah. Well, that was a bit strange then. Um, What's the easiest way to get to water? Where's my easy? Where's my... Here's some water. I lost my interest source into after that stupid chunk update glitch. Put you up there. Good thing I had a pretty much empty inventory there. Um, cobblestone. Don't like you. Get back sorted. Right, uh, now for the. This is going to be awkward because these don't stack, do they? I think these bottles do, yes. Right, one minute whilst I craft all these. So, now that I've got this, if we take four polarized gold dust or macerated gold dust, stick it in here, this will start ha happening. And then if you take a link panel, there's a good chance you're gonna get an intralinking page. Basically what an in intralinking page allows you to do is transport between two locations in the same dimension. So I can go from this base in the overworld to my new base 
and vice versa. So four more pulverized gold. What the heck? Okay, I don't know about that raid. And um, we got a normal link page. It's not 100%, so let me get some more gold. And will it work? Okay, that's not what I want. One more try then. One more time now. Aha, intralinking book at long last. So then you take this intralinking book page and combine it with one of these and get unlinked book and do the same with the other interlinking page now we have two unlinked books now we want to put these on a book stand which is wood and two sticks stick you in my inventory so I don't do anything stupid with you stick you lot in there take you out to there because you'll annoy me you'll be sitting there and put paper and leather in there to keep everything tidy and get four sticks rock chest four sticks so we can make a book stand which we do like so with that and we'll place a book stand oh we'll just stick it on top of the ink mixer and we'll probably want to come back into this base here so if we take this one unlinked inch linking book shift right click we'll get a linking book now to head over to the new base and you can see what I've done over there. So here we are, we're going to shift right click looking down here and if we put this book in here and click on it, it should take us here and we'll have a nice leg spike every time we come. Put this book in here, click on here and we come back here facing the exact ways we want it to. So this is the new base as of now. Now I think this is going to deserve a time lapse for the building, but let me just run through, actually no, I'll run through how I'm going to do this whilst I'm building it in a time lapse. So cue time lapse. Okay, apparently we have just had a meteor shower. I know why. Just for this. What is good? Oh, glows go to the wall. Let's go. This least don't seem safe. I meant. Maybe this is actually worth it. What is fluoride? Gotta be kidding me. It's still going. Whoa. Oh, still going. This does not seem safe at all. This is very lucky. My computer. It's like we've plenty of resources though. Right, give me a minute and be back once this meeting will show us stop. How am I gonna clean up? All this. Just look at it. It's everywhere. Oh, even my horse has escaped. Oh, is that mushroom? Oh, I've got a load of work to tidy this up. One minute, and then we'll. Oh, come on! I'm even blocking my solar panels. Really? One minute whilst the go sort out this so after sort of sorting out what i said i was going to sort out with that meteor shower we begin construction on the new base this will be referred to as the base from now on actually and the other one shall be referred to as the old base now i currently have two songs playing from approaching nirvana its new album which is waiting for the sun and the first song which you currently play now is called waiting for the sun and the one that you'll hear about halfway through this time lapse is called Berserker. 
So as I run, just ran back to grab some resources, and before I created that little lip of cobblestone, oh, not stone, cobblestone, stone brick around the top for aesthetical purposes, so you can tell where the layers are of the build. So each level from the outside, and just construction continues, slowly moving around, constantly checking backwards and forwards to make sure that I'm getting it right. Because I don't want to be halfway through a build and have something wrong. Now picking up my link book back to the old base and then returning back to construction. Everything just flows smoothly. Just quick build in long repetitive building. But hey, you can fortunately see this in a nice lovely fast time lapse. And it still seems quite long. Now unfortunately the builder's wand doesn't work for the limestone from Emerish resources, and I'm not sure whether it doesn't work with any of the other um, blocks from Emerish resources. Something I'll have to test, see whether it does or does not. But we just consume instruction now. After I'd just gone and got some resources, I just sort of cut this transition that's what it's called. Continue building the wall, and another transition after I get some more resources. As for I don't understand the concept of grabbing a load of resources, I grab a stack, and I clearly need more than a stack, but I mean, I'm going to grab a stack. As now as we come to the end of building the wall, just putting that stone lip on the top for the first level, and dropping stone brick off the edge, which I will go back and grab, and now I am. Now I am working on the floor, now I want a wooden floor for the upper levels, and then for the basement I'm going to go with more stone brick. Now here I realised that I want to change it up slightly and have it like so. We're going with like log support beams, you could say, for decoration. Imagine this glass here. Now, that glass will be important in the future. And you will find out why in a couple of episodes. Depends how fast I move through the next mods. I'm planning on doing them how fast I work through them and never project I've got. Some of you may have realised what I'm planning on doing, others may not, but that will be left for you to find out in the future. Now here I am currently installing the pine wood plank floor using the builder's wand, making it nice and quick and easy to do. Just quick clicks. Nothing too hard with the builder's wand. Now I decide to change up this middle bit and add some pine wood as we continue. Of course, I think the game knows that I live in England, so it's decided to rain. How lovely. But anywho, so continuing with the builds wand is just as simple as it can be. It makes life so much easier, although it's a very hard thing to get. And now the berserker is kicking in for the music, and as we come close to the end, I do believe that there ain't much more to show. So now that we have the base complete, let's take a proper good look at it from the inside. Well, not complete to say, but the first area completed. So what we've got to do next is dig out a basement, but before we do that, I want to add a front door on this place. And I think I'm going to use one of the mods to make this front door fancy. So let me have a look what I need to do this. And then let's craft this fancy front door. So now we're going to need to make a drawbridge. Now to make the drawbridge we need some blank casts. And we need a total of five. I couldn't remember what they were called then for a second. So we're just going to pour some out. Just by pouring the aluminum brass into a casting table. Simple as that. And now that we've got these, we'll come up here and we'll make the drawbridge by putting in the blank casts here. Okay, what have I got wrong? Of course I'll get something wrong. It's predictable. Drawbridge. Bronze. Oh, so there's some aluminum brass there. Right. One moment. And ten aluminum brass. So now that we have them and we hop back over to our base and we have a random lag site because it decides to load the world. What we want to do is we want to take these drawbridges 
and place them like so, 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 and so, and so. They look a bit ugly, don't they? Well, we can solve that pretty simply. If we come in here and put... I think it's that slot, is it? No, it's the other slot. That there. Our problems disappear. As they begin to look like stone bricks. Which makes them look a lot better. Now we need one, two, three, four. And if we put four in here, I can explain what these drawbridges do. Now, let's get a lever. A drawbridge will extend blocks out like so. Simple as that. When it receives a redstone signal, and well, it doesn't. So we gotta link these up to redstone signals. So let's show you this when the. Okay, you're gonna work. Oh right, might help if I actually put some in. Uh, one, two, three, four. Right, five for these. Five. Five. Five and four. And if we had a redstone signal. And that's what it looks like. So now we're going to need some simple, well, not simple, but redstone logic that we can compress down into one block. Now I want to activate this with a button. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of thinking and come up with something to make this work. So I think I figured out what I need to do. What I need is a T flip flop or what. The equivalent of it is from Project Red, which is, has compact redstone blocks, so you can get an AND gate in one block and so on and so forth. I can't remember what it's quite called. And I also need uh, this item from Tinker's Construct, a uh, mech worker. I need some signal terminal, signal bus, and some lengths of wire, and this spool. For some reason, you can't search for it like that, but you can make it like that. I don't know. But anywho, so what we want to do is first sort of not show you what I want to show you. Put a spool of wire in there, get some spool of wire. Then we want to make this sand enderman. One minute. G gimme, give gimme. Give I like ender pearls. Right, one moment. Right, so get back up to the top. So now, I think I know what I'm going to be doing. Basically, I'm going to be using Tinker's Construct and more specifically Tinker's Mech Work, parts of the mod, to create my wireless redstone. Now basically this is a pretty cheap local range wireless redstone compared to the other wireless redstone in the game. I'll show you the other one once we get it up. Uh, which requires an ender pearl for each transmitter or receiver. Quite expensive. So, the local range one requires signal buses, which is some slabs, any slab you want. I do believe it has to be a stone variety. It may not, but I think it does. And some length of wire. Length of wire is just three aluminum brass ingots. I'm sure I showed you that spool of wire before as well. If I didn't, I can't remember. It's a stone rod surrounded by that wire. Then I'm going to need to make two signal terminals. Basically, you link a terminal to a signal bus to a terminal, and that's your redstone signal, and you link it using this length of wire. Now to link it. Just do this, and that's going to remind me to have it there. And it can be any way you want. It's a shapeless recipe in any grade of crafting to the number nine and the four by four. And now, what I need to do is grab this toggle latch, which is made using these um, circuit plates. Just smelt stone, cathodes, just a stick of redstone torch on top of that plate, and redstone on top of the conductive plate. So we'll get that, and let's go to the base. Oops, nearly knocked my mouse off the desk. And here we are. So, 
what we want to do is create a link up now the question is where do I want to put this button hmm because I want the button out of view but easy to access well not out of view but I want the redstone behind it to be out of view Ooh, and that's a tough one I didn't quite think that one so I've been doing a look around at some of the mods and what I need is some red power cable or project red cables now it's called which I need some I forgot what it's called red iron compound which you then smelt and I'll smelt in the fast furnace and then we make um, we have I'll just let me shoot through these because I can't remember how I got to it this is you need to get the red alloy wire which allows you to get red alloy wire that was an ingot actually not a wire so there's the red alloy wire now what's special about this red alloy wire a lot of things mainly it's a micro part so it works with forged micro parts unlike regular redstone second of all it's a bit more controllable than redstone and I need to sleep one moment let's set this up what we're going to need is to put this red alloy cable on the bottom of these draw bridges like so we are then going to want to put a toggle latch like so then we're going to put some cable here ignore it going off because that doesn't matter and we need where are you signal terminal put one here we'll come up to here now I've already put one on here actually I can't get in so let's actually do the rest of it we'll put this here then we need our spool of wire connect you to you it looks a bit weird I don't know why it connects down there but it does I think it's just to make it easier for the coding to you and then if we press the button on this side of the block we have a fully functioning well actually no I need to make put some wire back into this before I can do what I want to do next we now have a fully functioning door now this is only temporary where I put these because I can't come up with somewhere to put them but for now this is how I'm going to leave it until I I don't have to do it. I might have to use some micro blocks to make it all nice and tidy. But for now, that's how it's going to be. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in today's episode. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a like, stay well, and survive around.